I've got an absolutely stunning chess problem for you guys and this one is really really brilliant. So this problem was composed by Rink Henry and it's white to play and win the game for white. So just like always go ahead pause the video this is a great example for calculation you can show this to your students if you have any and if not if you're a chess uh, if you're a great chess enthusiast you just love the game and this one is really really beautiful you might try this as well give yourself a few minutes five minutes around five minutes and see if you can crack it uh, there is a really beautiful point to it a subtle point a subtle move that i hope you find it so go ahead pause the video and try to find the move that i should play all right, so I hope you come up with the correct move. The move that white should start with is pawn to a7. So obviously, our threat is to simply go forward, promote the pawn. Can black stop it with his rook? Not really, because the b8 square as well as the a2 square has been covered by the pawn and the bishop. So basically, our rook cannot stop it, but the bishop can obviously stop it. So the bishop goes to g2, controlling the entire diagonal and stopping the a pawn and kind of just handling it very well. So, how does white continue now? There is an excellent move that white has here. White can play pawn to d7. The pawn is running away. Now, this pawn has been handled, but what about this pawn? How do we stop it? Let's see. Rook to b8 again, not playable because the pawn will capture. What else do we have? This bishop is already doing a task. This bishop is already controlling this long diagonal and looking at the a8 square taking an eye on the eight square and that's why he cannot do anything else the bishop obviously can, can't stop the pawn what about the rook only for black is to play rook to d2 and does this work can you spot the move that white played here there's an absolutely stunning move that white has here give yourself five five seconds and see if you can come up with the correct move all right here comes the brilliant stunning point and if you were uh, looking at the problem and calculated this, then I have to tell you, are, you are a great calculator. The move that the move that white should play here is bishop to b5. Now, this is a great, great interference move. So, let's have a look at it. What is the threat? White obviously wants to promote the pawn. At the same time, he's threatening to first capture the bishop and then promote the pawn. And that will be incredibly powerful. So, basically, white has some big threats and Black has to deal with them. Let's see what happens if bishop takes bishop. The point is, now the rook on d2 is no longer guarding the d8 square and now you can promote to a queen and white will most probably be winning here. I am sure he must be winning here because a8 is coming and you can't really move your rook, your bishop will be hanging. You can't really move your bishop because your rook will be hanging and this will definitely be a lost position. So going back, what happens if he captures with the rook? Yep, still taking, still keeping an eye on the d8 square. This time the problem is the bishop on g2 has been blocked. Again, it has been, it's an interference tactic. Now you simply promote on a8 and that will be winning because now you can't move your rook if you capture here. This bishop on g2 is hanging and uh, another move I'm just threatening. Now I'm just threatening to take the rook and promote or simply promote it as well. I think everything is just winning for white over here. So absolutely stunning problem and I incredibly like I just like this move bishop to d5 so much it's wonderful and if you calculated this right from move number one then I have to tell you you're a great calculator and you should uh, think of taking taking chess more seriously and becoming a professional probably so hope you enjoyed this thank you for watching and do subscribe to my youtube channel more videos are on the way until next time